Woe to those! The greatest warnings in the Bible. Matthew 23, 13, 15. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. Neither do you yourselves go in, nor do you let those enter who are going in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. Therefore you will receive the greater condemnation. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you travel across sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, you make him twice as much a son of hell as yourselves. This verse is warning us about the hypocrisy of the scribes and Pharisees. Jesus is condemning them for their religious pride and their neglect of the poor and needy. He is also warning us against following their example. Luke 6, 24, 25. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation in full. Woe to you who are full now, for you will go hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will mourn and weep. Isaiah 5, 20, 22. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and clever in their own sight. Woe to those who are heroes at drinking wine and champions at mixing drinks. This verse is warning us about the dangers of moral relativism. Isaiah is condemning those who call good evil and evil good. He is reminding us that there is a moral standard that we should all strive to uphold. James 5, 1, 3. Now listen, you rich people weep and wail because of the calamities that are coming upon you. Your riches have rotted, and your clothes are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and consume your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days.